The cars are very fast. There are lots of crashes, lots of near misses as a pedestrian. Nicole Wheeler has called the Dundee neighborhood home for 10 years. She often walks her kids to school using Farnham Street. She says she welcomes any solution to slow down traffic because it would help make it safer for those who use the street. The street the way it is now, it doesn't it doesn't function at the peak times. There would have to be intersection improvements one way or another. After studying the intersection for years, city officials announced last year the possibility of putting roundabouts at the intersection of 50th and Farnham and 52nd and Farnham. The streets are currently one way during different hours of the day and the city and those in the neighborhood believe roundabouts could be valuable. And the roundabout is a nice physical interaction or a physical blocker for cars that would force them to slow down. Roundabouts are, are the safest intersection you can have for pedestrians. Um, they really shorten the crossing distances that people walk. They change the angles so that we don't get as many direct hits. Um, there's fewer conflict points in a roundabout than a traditional intersection, so that's that's why it was recommended. A service agreement of more than $400,000 will go in front of City Council tomorrow. In a statement, City Council member Pete Festerson said, and I quote, I grew up nearby and have always supported a two-way all-day conversion. The proposed roundabouts, however, are causing a lot of concern for neighbors and it's important we listen to those concerns end quote a vote on the matter is scheduled for tuesday with a public hearing beforehand this is a big win that the city is willing to finally hear us and change farnham to two-way all day and that uh, any solution that slows down traffic will make it safer for all of us reporting jessica salinas fox 42 news